Hey, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagar Pajapati and in this video, I will be talking about the real case scenario of get metadata activity. So before going to the video, I would like to introduce my channel Geek Coders and here I upload videos on Azure Data Factory, Azure Data Bricks, Python, SQL and so on. So if you are liking my content, you can subscribe to my channel and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited. So let me open my notepad and let me tell you what I'm going to do today. So we will use get metadata activity to pull all the file names inside the folder and then we copy file data into the SQL DB. So if I open my portal, then you can see I have this database called Geek Coders. Okay. And right now I have, I do not have any table present over here. So and if I and if I go back, if I what will I do? If let me duplicate it, okay. And meanwhile, what I will do? I will use here get metadata activity, and let me choose my link service. So my link service is first one. Sorry, let, uh, data set. And here I have to pass a source, a container that is source. Let me open it and let me change my. Uh, link service that is Azure Blob Storage one and here if I if I click on this and if I do from root then you can see inside my source folder source container I have this file folder and inside this file folder I have this multiple files present over and we need to copy the data of these files into the SQL DB so what will I do I will pass here the folder name files okay and and what will I do this is everything is same and I will choose first row as header and column delimiter is comma okay that's fine perfect now here if I click on this plus button then I have to choose child items okay and let me debug it for now so if i debug it then you can see then you can see if i click on this output button in child items i have this name testing.csv and testing underscore 3.csv so now what what will i do i will use my for each activity I will use my for each activity here what will I do uh, let, okay I will pass this later on let me open it and I will use my copy data activity and if I go outside if I go outside and if I click on this output button so you can see in child item this is one array okay this is one array kind of array or we can say json also so this is the root and this is the inside this now we have this key value key value pair we need to iterate we we need to iterate this array using for each that's why i have put here for each and in the setting option what will i do i will click on add dynamic content go down and you can see this uh, this thing automatically comes so if i click get metadata one child item since i have used child item property or field so that's why i have chosen this let me open it and here if i choose my source the source will be same okay here i have to pass source and and then then if i click on this file file path here right now it is a star i should not use a star here so what will i use i will use my for each iterator okay in the sync also i do not have data set so what will i do i will click on plus button and i will choose here azure sql database let me open it 
I do not have any link service. Let me create it. Everything is okay. As you for students, server name is Geek Coders. Database is name is also Geek Coders. Okay. And SQL authentication. My username is Geek Coders. And let me put my password. Let me do a test connection. It should verify. Oh, it failed. So my name is my database name is wrong. My sorry, my username is wrong. So let me do again. It got succeeded. Let me create it. Now it got created. Let me click on OK button. Now you can see in this data set we have this right behavior option insert up search stored procedure. So right now we will use insert. So it means, you know, inserting the data into a table. Upset means kind of merge statement and stored procedure, you know, we have like we can call the stored procedure. Then we have this option bulk insert lock. So right now it is no. And table option is none. So what does it mean none? So if I click on this auto create table, so it will automatically create the table. And this is pre-copy script. So suppose I want to perform some action on the table. Suppose I want to delete the table first and then insert the data. Suppose I want to create a schema uh, of the table and then I will I have to do then we can use this option. So right now I will use auto create table and pre copy script is none. And yeah, that's done. Uh, so let me open this data set and here right now it is. Uh, you know table is so let me click on this edit and i use my database that is geek coders and i will click on this add dynamic content so right now you can see i cannot see any of the any of the you know a uh, formula present here or parameters we can see so what i have to do i have to create a parameter so let me write a table name okay and and if i go back sorry so here it is okay done and here let me click on this add dynamic content and now i can use this table name uh, parameter and if i go back if i go back here i have to click on again click on this and then choose child not child i will use for each okay let me remove everything and let me use for each iterator so now for now it is okay so you might be thinking okay everything is sorted let's debug it but it will fail it will fail we miss we did mistake in two places i will tell you so if you see the output okay this is the input if i show you the output of get metadata activity you can see this is the child item like this is the root fold uh, root uh, uh, root thing and then we have this key value pair okay so in the for each activity i am passing till child item okay now i want to iterate i want to iterate one by one and i have to choose name not type i want to use name not type so here if i click on this button and here i have to use dot dot name okay click on okay and in source part also i have to use dot name but there is a mistake in source side if i give item uh, dot name it is fine because the name is uh, testing dot csv but in the sync side, if I if I want to create a table, I cannot give the name testing dot cs with a table name, right? I should use table. I mean, uh, testing is a table like testing is a table name. So, what will I do if I click on this? Okay, I have to use some split function. So I will use here split, and here I will use uh, dot and take first uh, first index okay it means zero index let me click on ok button and let me let me debug it now you can see i do not have anything in this table section i hope so okay and it is running we will see uh, what output we will get 
it's all got succeeded now you can see if i refresh it then we will have two tables present over here geek uh, dot testing and geek dot testing underscore three but but if i debug it again then what will happen is that it will again inside the data okay so what we can do what we can do i do not want to insert uh, again okay i want to first delete the data and then i want to insert it so what i can do i can write this pre copy script drop table if exist table name okay you can write it down apart from this apart from this if i go back again and if i click on this get metadata activity go to setting then okay okay let me open my copy data activity go to sync part and here you can see additional columns so we can use this method also this option also and we can we can you know we can assign some uh, something here suppose i want to i want to pass here uh, date time current date time so i can use utc now method i hope it is present okay and i will here i will pass here date underscore time so it is done if i go to sync part it is already done and if i go to this mapping part and if i import schema here i have to pass first so i will write here testing and okay it is done so let me see it got failed so let me do again i will give testing.csv now you can see we have id id and name and name okay so let me run it again and let me see you let, let me show you what will happen okay It got succeeded and if I refresh the table then the schema is ID and name only okay we do not have that uh, date time column present over here so what we have to do if I click on this setting button okay mapping button sorry I have to click on this new mapping select the column name is date time okay and here also i have to choose right now you can see i do not have anything over here okay so i have to write here a name so i will write date time sync and let me debug it now so now this might be the case that this activity will fail because table is already present tables are already present with different schema okay with different schema so this might be the case that it 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 will fail so you can see uh, it's not found in the target table so what i have to do i have to i have to put one one uh, condition here okay I will use this add dynamic dynamic content and choose this concat thing and I will type it here drop table if exist and then the coders uh, this is the database name and then I will type it here dot name okay it's fine i also uh drop table name and drop table if i guessed. okay now let me do a debug again and we will see the output okay uh it will also it it will again fail because i did a small mistake let me open it again let me open this copy data activity let me go to down and here what i have to do i have to use a split function 
so I will use split func split function and here I pass dot and mm -hmm, then zero. I hope that's fine, but I do not know why it is showing error. So let me give in a small small letter. Okay, it is done now. Split item named comma this and uh, this is concat. So I have to use one more. It's gone. Let me click on OK button and let me debug it again. See now it got succeeded and if I click on if I click on my database now you can see we have three three columns date time sync and then we have this here also date time sync okay and if I do a select star then you can see we have current date time stamp okay so this is the process to use a get metadata activity like you know there is several application i cannot uh, create a video on every on every scenario on every application okay so i hope you have understood this and uh, yeah that's it